So guys, now we are at sea and we are doing uh, some maintenance for uh, auxiliary engines. In today's video, we will show you how to uh, overhaul a turbocharger for the auxiliary engine STX MAN. So let's do this. Here's how a turbocharger works. To get more air into the engine, a turbocharging system starts with an engine's exhaust gas, power that is essentially wasted in non-turbo engines. This exhaust gas is channeled to the turbo, where it spins a turbine wheel. This highly engineered wheel spins quite fast, reaching speeds of up to 280,000 RPM. On the other side of the turbine wheel, connected by a shaft, is a compressor wheel. These two wheels turn together, and the rapid spinning allows the compressor to suck in large amounts of ambient air and compress it. As a result, the air is very dense and has a higher temperature. This air then passes through a charge air cooler, where it is cooled and gains an even higher density prior to entering the engine. Once in the engine, the compressed air allows the engine to efficiently burn more fuel, making for extremely efficient engine operation. With better combustion, engine makers no longer have to resort to building bigger engines to get more power. Instead, they can use smaller, more fuel-efficient boosted engines that match the power of the larger engine, while consuming up to 40% less fuel and emitting significantly less CO2, making turbocharging a technology that's perfectly in tune with the needs of the 21st century. So, guys, uh, SOP, standard operating procedure, before we start uh, overhauling any machineries on board, we have uh, sufficient spare parts before doing that. So, all this, we will use these all spare parts. Okay, we will use this uh, very push, very push. So, this one, compressor side and uh, turbine side. Yan. So guys, meron tayong dalawang bearing bush. So, slip, shaft slip. Okay? And, labyrinth ring. Ito yan guys, itsura nyan. So, ayan, meron siyang uh, part number. Kung mapapansin nyo, ayan yung part number nyan. No? And, we have this uh, O-ring. From the casing. O-ring. And, we have this uh, nuts. So, as per uh, running us, we need to replace these nuts. And also this uh, holding screw. And then guys, holding screw from the maker. Oh, yeah. And this uh, magnetic nut. 
So, ito yung tinatawag na magnetic nut. Ito yung pinakalak niya. Okay? So, this one is the nozzle ring. We will see if the, our nozzle ring is uh, still okay. We will not replace the nozzle ring. But if our if our uh, measurement will uh, will uh, not uh, satisfy instruction with our measurement, we will replace this uh, nozzle ring. Okay? So, ito yung mga spare parts that we need before commencing a overhauling. Right? Second engineer, third engineer. So, all right, as you can see, we are now uh, starting to dismantle uh, this uh, turbo charger. Later we will we will show you how to dismantle it inside with the shop, the bearings, the bushings, etc. So you will see. Now we will uh, remove this uh, nozzle ring. So we will show you how to dismantle this uh, nozzle ring from the casing. Meron siyang locking pin there. You know. Ito yung pin niya. So, kinila. Pinukpok na segundo para mahugot. So, ito lang yung nag-hold sa kanya para malak. So, ito guys. Ito na yung nozzle ring namin. So, one of the main components of Toto Bocharger is a nozzle ring. So, if this nozzle ring uh, will uh, tear down, wear down, the Toto Charger efficiency will be less. Okay, ayan na yan guys. So ayan guys, we are removing the uh, shop with uh, special tools. Alright guys, so we will uh, dismantle this one. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. So, ayan guys, kita nyo. Tatanggal natin to. So, this one is the uh, turbine rotor. So, the labyrinth ring and the bearing bush. Okay. Good. May name yan, may pangalan dyan. So, ito yung nasa ibabaw. Okay? And then after that, we will put the compressor wheel. Guys, ito na. The moment of truth. We tried up there by Sia. JBL with JJA. Oh, 
Okay, so sit there. No? So guys, we will put this up in. As you can see, this is the lock of the shop. Pakita mo, Walter. So this is the lock of the shop. Okay. Okay. So, medyo challenging to. Okay. So, the purpose of this pin is to hold the shock with lock. This lock. Okay. So guys, when you are uh, inserting this uh, lock, uh, you may use a uh, wood, so it will uh, not damage this uh, compressor wheel and this lock. So we will uh, setting back this uh, magnetic nut, magnetic nut. So yeah, guys. So nilagay namin ng konting lock tight para kumapit. After uh, fixing this uh, magnetic lock, so we will measure the uh, play of the shaft using the dial gauge. So this is the dial gauge we put here in the cover and together with the shaft. So we will see if how many uh, degree the shaft can play. Okay. So, ayan guys. 10. So, ayan yung play nyo. Oops. So, maximum is 13. Okay. Tsuran mo. So, okay guys. Uh, we will uh, measure the labyrinth ring and bearing bush actual clearance no so using this uh, dial gauge we will put this in the center of the shop in the magnetic nut so we will push this okay 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 so you know tulak na yung segundo yan pag tulak nya ito yung yung measurement nya so 0.22 Okay I-re-record natin dyan dito 0.22 dito So this is the clearance Between the labyrinth ring And the uh, bearing bush So ayan yan guys So now uh, We will measure the uh, Compressor wheel Actual uh, gap clearance using this uh, lead wire we will put this one here okay guys after that we will put the we will put back the compressor wheel casing to press down the lead and guys press down the lead okay That, as you can see no na na press down yung lead natin so yan yung i measure natin okay so after uh, compressing the lead we will measure it using the bernier caliper into a di three different points so what is the measurement uh, 0.4 0.4 okay 0.4 so next side next side Yeah, 0.42 Okay, 0.42 Other side is? Other side is 0.4 Okay, 0.4 So we will add that uh, Divided by 3 And then uh, we will subtract the uh, Bearing, bush and labyrinth ring clearance So we will get 0.4 Okay, 0.4 Okay, so after that Okay, after that Okay, so 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 after that Uh, compressor wheel, special capillaries, using the filler gauge in a four different parts. In a four different parts, okay. One is here. 
Okay. 0 0.5. Next. 0 point. 0 0.6. Zero point five again, and zero point fifty five. So the four different parts, four different uh, measurement, we will add divided by four. We will get the uh, average, and then after getting the average, we will subtract to the uh, labyrinth push and the uh, push uh, clearance, and then we will get the pressure and clearance. Okay. First, we will uh, put back this uh, nozzle ring. already done assemble this uh, turbocharger and now we are putting here in the generator engine I did additional manpower so this is my uh, engine cadet Aljan yes Renante the third so ayan na guys 